Under the Sphinx, some people talk about a hall of records that might have old information, maybe from Atlantis. Even though some say it's not true, scientists discovered three mysterious strange tunnels under the Sphinx, and no one knows why they're there. And they leak secret photos under the Great Sphinx of Egypt. So these hidden tunnels are confirmed. With that, in Darshur, they found a new Great Pyramid with lots of secrets. And with that, Elon Musk talked about mysterious discoveries in Egypt, so let's explain everything. So, there are a lot of records and speculations that beneath the Sphinx lies the Hall of Records, a library or chamber that contains the knowledge of the lost civilization of Atlantis, or ancient advanced civilizations. This idea was popularized by a clairvoyant, Edgar Kais, in the 20th century. Kais believed that the survivors of Atlantis buried their knowledge in the Hall of Records under the Sphinx and that this would be discovered in the future. And the Foreign Affairs Minister of Poland, Jozak Chapopowicz, along with his group, went to see the Giza pyramids while they were in Egypt for two days. Zaha Hawass, an archaeologist from Egypt, denied and said that there's no truth to the talk about a secret city under the Sphinx. Zaha Hawass explained that they have many pictures showing the digging process under the Sphinx. These photos confirmed that there are no passages beneath the Sphinx, and it's actually a solid statue made of concrete. But Hawass couldn't deny that there are three tunnels discovered under the Sphinx. And what secrets lay deep under these tunnels? Well, no one knows. The first one was found in 1937 by a French engineer named Bering. This tunnel is located above the statue's back, and Bering was looking for treasures inside the statue when he discovered it. The second tunnel was located in the statue's north side, but it got filled with water and covered by French Egyptologist Guapo. People thought this tunnel held valuable items and historical objects. There's a third tunnel that's situated behind the dream portrait. This tunnel was discovered by an Italian explorer named Cavalla in the early 1800s. He found it while he was digging beneath the Sphinx's chest. Chapopovich also really liked the Egyptian monuments. After the tour, Howes gave him a book about Giza as a gift. Last year, Dr. Howes conducted excavations under the Sphinx at Giza, leading to the rediscovery of entrances to several expansive, seemingly natural caverns right beneath the statue. Historian Bethany Hughes, in her Channel 5 program, Egypt's Greatest Treasures, highlighted that experts persist in their exploration of these spaces, hoping for significant discoveries. She informed a 2019 audience, ancient Egyptians, over generations, revered and feared this enigmatic figure, attributing to it mystical powers. The allure of the Sphinx remains undiminished. Current archaeological efforts focus beneath the statue, driven by hints that the Sphinx might be positioned atop a complex of chambers and passageways. In addition, the olden enigmas of ancient Egypt continue to captivate archaeologists, historians, and regular people too. The place, ruled by the pharaohs, doesn't want to reveal its hidden stories. Even though there have been many amazing discoveries, we still find puzzles all across Egypt. Not far, maybe 15 miles to the south of Cairo, there's a place called the Dashir Complex. It's known for amazing buildings made a really long time ago, back in the Old Kingdom time. In Dashur, there are pyramids, special temples, and other structures that haven't been fully explored yet. For a while now, Archaeologists have been discussing the importance of places like Darshur, Giza, Lisht, Medum, and Sakra. They believe that discovering things in these areas could help us better understand a really important time in ancient Egypt's history. This was when the largest pyramids were constructed, the districts were organized, and the lands were settled. In simple words, it's like finding puzzle pieces that could give us a clearer picture of how Egypt became a strong nation. Also, when these digs uncover things, they can help us understand the parts of history we don't know much about. They could give us a better overall view of how both the pharaohs and regular folks lived and died back in ancient Egypt. Lots of old Egyptian pyramids have been ruined, but there are quite a few that are still buried in the sand, waiting for scientists to check them out. One of these interesting old structures is the pyramid they recently found in Darshur. This place wasn't easy to get to before, and not many people knew about it. Darshur is an old burial place famous for its pyramids. Two of these pyramids, the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid, are some of the oldest, biggest, and well-kept ones in Egypt. They were built a really long time ago, around 2613 to 2589 BC. 
These two pyramids were made when Pharaoh Snifru was in charge. The bent pyramid was the first try at making a pyramid with smooth sides, but it didn't work out well. So Snifru, the ruler, decided to make another one named the Red Pyramid. There are some more pyramids from the 13th dynasty in Darshur, but most of them are hidden under sand, making them really hard to find. In 2017, Dr. Chris Nelton, who is the leader of the International Association of Egyptologists, went to Darshur. He went there with a team from the Smithsonian Channel to show and talk about the interesting things they found in a specific pyramid. What the group found is kind of like an old mystery investigation. People who study old stuff in that area had found big blocks of really well-cut rock hidden deep in the sand. They told the people in charge of taking care of old things in Egypt, and those experts came to the place to dig it up and see what's there. After a lot of effort and time, the archaeologists eventually found a pyramid that nobody knew about before. But the really interesting part was when they found a hidden path. This path went from the outside of the pyramid to an underground area deep inside it. This special place was guarded by big and heavy blocks of rock, making it hard for anyone to get in and see what was inside this strange old pyramid. The challenges didn't stop the archaeologists. They kept at it and, after a few days of trying, they finally got inside the pyramid. Everything they saw made it seem like that this pyramid in Darshur held old valuable things and probably even a mummy. When the scientists got into the burial room, they were really surprised to see that someone had been there a really long time ago. This pyramid in Darshur had been robbed around 4,000 years back. In the old days, people used to steal stuff from pyramids a lot, and sadly, this pyramid in Darshur was one of the ones that got robbed too. It's easy to see why Dr. Nelson was disappointed when he looked into the empty burial room, but still, this finding is interesting and makes us think of certain questions. There are two key questions that we need to start finding answers to. First, we should know who was buried in this pyramid and who it was constructed for. Second, we need to understand how a burial chamber that seemed completely sealed and untouched ended up being disturbed, according to Dr. Nelson. Did someone take a mummy from the Dashaw Pyramid? How did robbers break the seal that seemed unbroken? Did the people who built it first take things from the burial room before closing it up? These are just some of the many questions that come up when we think about this old Egyptian puzzle. Furthermore, the people who take care of old Egyptian stuff shared that they found a secret room in the Pyramid of Khufu, which is really ancient, like 4,500 years ago. This pyramid is also called the Great Pyramid of Giza. Archaeologist Zaha Hawass and Minister of Tourism Ahmed Esser told everyone about a cool find. Scientists from the Scan Pyramids Project are the ones who found it. Since 2015, there's this worldwide project called Scan Pyramids. They use fancy tools like special cameras, sound waves, computer models, and cosmic rays to look at old buildings without damaging them. They're really trying to understand how these structures were made. Using those advanced tools, the scientists found a hidden hallway above the pyramid's main doorway. This hallway is closed off and can't be reached from outside. It's about 9 meters long and 2 meters wide. Once they found the hidden area, the scientists used a thin camera from Japan to look inside by sliding it through a small space between the stones. This helped them see what's in there. The experts who study old things admit they're not sure why the hallway was there. Mostafa Waziri, who's in charge of Egypt's group for old stuff, guessed that maybe the hallway was meant to spread out the weight above the entrance, or maybe even lead to a different secret room that they haven't found yet. Christoph Gross, who's a big part of the Scan Pyramids team from the University of Munich, wants to find more hidden stuff. Talking about the new hallway they found, he said, there are two large limestones at the end of the chamber, and now the question is, what's behind those stones and below the chamber? Not from Cairo, there's this pyramid called the Pyramid of Khufu. It's got its name from a ruler in ancient times, way back from 2509 to 2483 BC. It's one of three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Place. This pyramid is the only one left out of the Seven Wonders from way long ago that still stands today. For many years, experts have been puzzled about how the pyramids were constructed. The Pyramid of Khufu was initially 146 meters tall, but now it's 139 meters high. Moreover, Elon Musk, a name synonymous with the future, with aspirations spanning from electric vehicles on Earth to colonization on Mars, may not seem immediately connected to the ancient world. 
Yet, there's a unique intersection between Musk's vision and the ancient marvels of Egypt, especially its pyramids. In 2019, he tweeted that he believed the pyramids were built by aliens. This sparked a debate among Egyptologists and conspiracy theorists alike. Musk is not the only person who has questioned the conventional wisdom about the pyramids. Some people believe that the pyramids were built by a lost civilization or that they were used for astronomical purposes. There is no one definitive answer to the question of who built the pyramids and it is likely that we will never know for sure. It is important to note that Musk's comments about the pyramids have captured the imagination of many people. He is a visionary entrepreneur who has achieved great things in his career and his words carry weight. His claim that the pyramids were built by aliens has also generated interest in ancient Egypt and its history. In addition to his tweet, Musk has also said that he is interested in learning more about the pyramids. He has even expressed a desire to visit Egypt and see them for himself. Musk's comments have made people think about the pyramids in a new way and they have sparked a renewed interest in ancient Egypt. This is a positive thing as it helps to preserve our cultural heritage and to learn more about the past. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell 